Hi, I'm Atia. I'm Rosianna. And I'm Laura. And today we're going to talk about online makeups and breakups. Am I? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Online relationships can be great, but when a relationship ends or goes wrong, it can be really tough. What can be different when you're meeting someone online or having an online relationship? Um, I think the pressure can be really hard. It can escalate quite quickly. So you might be talking casually and then all of a sudden you feel a bit pressured to do a bit more than you're ready to um, or commit to a bit more than you're ready to and feel like that's a really serious promise or commitment. But the important thing to remember is that you don't have to follow through on anything that you've said online, but also to remember not to move things maybe quite as quickly as you're feeling um, pressured into doing. So you need to remind yourself that you have control yeah. and you can take things at your pace. Yes, absolutely. And what about that stage when you feel like, okay, you're ready to take it to the next level, you've met this person online, you feel like you know them, how can you then decide, are they actually who they are, who they're saying they are? Because it's so easy to pretend to be someone. Trust your gut instinct, trust those alarm bells, and also listen to the fact that if, they, uh, if there's sort of lies that are appearing, not to just go with that. You know, if they're starting to lie and you're uncovering lies, I think that's definitely something to be cautious of. And going back to the pressure thing, I think that even if you meet up with someone, you might feel even more pressure then. Um, to do things that you've agreed to do online or to um, do whatever they're saying. And again, remember that you're in control. You can leave at any given moment, um, step back or call someone or say that you're uncomfortable. You have absolutely all your rights to do that. You should never feel like you owe someone anything. No, yeah. So let's just say now the relationship's gone well and then something happens and it ends. Mm -hmm. How it ends online is different to how it might end in another circumstance. Yeah, so your tips on how to deal with that? Not looking them up online, I think, is really key to helping up, helping with the breakup. <laughs> it's so tempting. You want to see it what is, are they yeah. doing? Have they met someone else? Where are they? What are they saying? You can even like block them or delete them or do something that feel might feel a bit drastic at first, but it's just allowing yourself to have that space to process what, what's just happened. Um, because obviously, just because it's online doesn't mean that it isn't real and doesn't isn't something that you've felt and gone through. It can be so painful, and especially when there is this temptation to see what's happening online. What kind of tips would you give young people who are tempted to still have that contact, see what's happening? What kind of distraction techniques might someone try? I'd say really focus on yourself, really focus on, on, on uh, developing as a human being, so getting involved in your interests and hanging out with friends mm -hmm. that you know don't encourage you to look that person yeah. up. So I think limit how much you post online. I actually think it's much better to sort of, you know, talk to friends and talk to, you know, people that are supportive, but I think trying to find validation online can sometimes be a little bit of a dangerous territory. Yeah, you, end up, you could end up feeling more hurt. Mm -hmm. How do you think it can be when suddenly all contact ends and you're being ghosted and it's just suddenly that's the end of it. It's obviously very hurtful and it's much easier to do it online than um, I think pretty much anywhere else um, and you, you don't necessarily feel like you have closure on something and you don't you always know what's going on but again I think like any other breakup you have to treat it as allowing your space time away. Um, if someone's treated you like that then might not be necessarily worth going back to them because yeah. it's very hurtful. It's extremely hurtful. So confide in people close to you and um, and try and try to work through it again, as Laura said, through seeking out your own interests and and um, talking with other people and maybe spending time away from the phone or the laptop that um, that whole kind of world existed on. And as you said, maybe you've got to ask yourself if I'm if I've been ghosted and it's ended this way, yeah. what does that show about that person? And maybe you need to ask yeah. yourself. What does this relationship mean to me? What qualities do I want in a relationship? And how do I expect to be treated? What does respect mean to me? Because I think it's very easy in that situation to blame yourself and think yeah. like, what is it about me that they didn't want to talk to me? But you have to, as you say, think, well, actually, what is it about them? Mm. And what do I deserve? I deserve more than this. Um, but it can be really hard, and especially when you're in a place of feeling really low about it all. Yeah. Online dating can also be tricky because you might have mutual friends online and if a relationship ends, that could then affect that. Sometimes it becomes kind of a reckoning when you look at, well, were they really my close friends? 
that time? Um, or are there other people that I can lean on as well? Are there other people in my life who I could maybe, who I haven't been as close to, who I could maybe um, go out and do something fun with and have a good day with? Um, because I think one of the hardest po points of this is feeling so isolated and so on your own. Um, but in so many cases, you're not alone. I think as well, you can sometimes feel very isolated, but a lot of people don't know how to deal with breakups, so they just sort of don't get in contact, or they think, ah, I'm friends with both of them, I'm just not going to get in touch. Mm -hmm. So it might be a case that you think that you've lost these friends and you haven't, they're just a bit uncomfortable and awkward and they don't know how to deal with it at that stage. Should you get back with someone if you've broken up? It depends really on the reasons why um, you've broken up with them and I think you are the only person who can really answer that. You have to listen to yourself and think about it properly and give yourself the time to think. But I think if it was a really unhealthy situation, so for example, if you were pressured to do things that you didn't feel ready for or feel comfortable doing, um, if someone's lied to you in a significant way, um, or really in any way if someone's lied to you at all, like you have to consider whether getting back is going to be the best thing for you because I think in that situation it's very likely that that pattern will repeat itself mm -hmm. um, and the other thing I'll say is if there are things like news that were sent or pictures that were sent um, and you feel like you're being blackmailed in that situation then definitely don't get back together with that person because they're using their power over you to put you in a really unfair position um, and that itself is a form of pressure. If you're in an online relationship, you might be pressured to send nudes or asked to send pictures that you're not comfortable with. What would your advice be to young people? Don't act on what other you think you should do or what other people are telling you to do. But I think if you are in the position where you already have done that and you're um, worried about what's happening and you've broken up and you don't, you may be being um, pressure to send more or if the information has been kind of held over your head you do have options you still have rights even though you have sent them out there so you can talk to a trusted adult you can contact childline to have the pictures removed um, there are plenty of options available for you what three tips would you give to a friend who's just started an online relationship I'd say first of all let them know that you'd be there for them if they need to reach out to you you're there for them and they can be honest with you I think as well keeping things private, so just being careful not to give them your address or too much personal information. I think the last one for me would be thinking about what it is you share on Facebook statuses, Instagram, um, all across social media. Just taking an extra second to think before um, you put something out there. Because yeah, it could be shared with anyone and everyone. Absolutely. Thank you for coming today. Thank you Thank for you having us. Enough, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.